Mitake is one kind of medicinal mushroom. It forms clumps on tree stumps and tree roots. It was first used in Asian traditional medicine. General description. Mitake mushrooms can grow up to 45 kilograms in weight and range in size from little to very large, weighing 1.3 to 2.2 kilograms on average. The fruiting body is composed of an underground, inedible base that develops into a single, branching stem with numerous clustered caps that resemble rosettes or fronds with leaves on them. Each cap is smooth, velvety, and soft with wavy edges, depending on how much sunshine they receive before harvest. The color of the caps ranges from pure white to tan, brown. Numerous, tiny gray pores that release spores into the air to spread can be seen beneath the caps. Scientific name of the mushroom is Griffola frondos. And the common name is Hen of the Woods. How to grow exotic mitake mushroom. First of all, know about the growing season. Wild mitake mushrooms are available in the late summer through late fall, while the cultivated varieties are available year round. Complete growing time, it takes four to five weeks to complete a life cycle. Temperature, it required 21 to 24 degrees Celsius temperature at the time of spawn run. 10 to 16 degrees Celsius temperature need for pinhead formation and 13 to 18 degrees Celsius for fruiting body formation. Humidity, maintain about 95% relative humidity in the farm from beginning to pinhead formation. Then reduce the relative humidity level to 75 to 85% at the time of fruiting body development. Substrate, hardwood sawdust, sawdust, or chips, or bran, particularly oak, poplar, cottonwood, elm, willow, and alder. Alder and poplar stumps are less likely to support outdoor fruiting, given the hold competitors, like Pleurotus ostritus and allies, have on that niche. For indoor cultivation, yields substantially vary between various wood types. Oak is generally preferred, although strains growing on conifers are being developed. Recommended containers for fruiting. Polypropylene bags with filter patches for air exchange. Polypropylene bottles and buckets have also been used. Steps of cultivation. Number 1. Mix the hardwood sawdust and rice bran. Formula of substrate making. Take hardwood sawdust, fine plus coarse, 75%. Add wheat bran, which is coarse, not refined, 23%. Then, add sucrose 1% and, calcium compound, lime, or gypsum, 1%. Number 2, sterilize the supplement substrate, with the help of autoclave, at 22 psi for 90 minutes. Number 3, clear propylene bottles, or bags, for indoor cultivation. Then, fill the bag with substrate. Number 4, grain spawn is inoculated at 3%, wet weight basis, and top spawning, should be done. The bags incubated, at 4 hour, and 20 hour, light and, dark cycles, at 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Spawn run took, about 40 to 45 days. Number 5, transfer these bags, to a cropping room, for fruiting body development. After 2 to 3 days, open the top, of the bags. Number 6, make a 1 to 2 inch casting over the substrate. Number 7, place it in a well-ventilated room that is not directly exposed to sunlight. You won't worry about light until there are actual signs of growth. Use a mist spray to keep the substrate fairly moist. Lastly, harvest the mushroom after full growth. Relative humidity should be carefully lowered as the fruit body develops to prevent bacterial blotch. Overwatering can quickly cause the fruit bodies to abort. The thick base should be cut to remove substrate debris. Mushrooms wrapped in rice paper and then refrigerated have an extended shelf life up to two weeks at one to two degrees Celsius. For more details, you can join our online training program. You can also enroll into the online flagship training program on mushroom cultivation by visiting www.bmmushroom.com Happy Mushrooming!